good morning, afternoon or evening and welcome to the Dark Detective where we need to start questioning people about what happened with uh, Sophie's presence. Let's start with Sophie. <laughs> It'll be okay. You have the duck detective here to figure everything out. <laughs> uh -huh. What can you possibly do? <laughs> Leave me alone. Okay. Uh, can't question her about anything. What about you? That's not nice at all. Who messes with someone's birthday? Nope. my present? I mean, now she's crying, but I think I saw a sparkle in her eyes when she opened mine. <laughs> I should really get back to work. Can you tell me something about this letter? Sophie won't even talk to me about it. I don't know what to do. Hmm. And I don't think there was anything else here that we could have looked at. No. So... What happens to the cake now? What do you think about this letter? People don't know how to write letters by hand anymore. What's with the weird line breaks? <laughs> they, they really think I've done it! Duck Detective, you have to help me! You, you, you know it wasn't me, right? Did you not think it was strange that your bag was full of salami? Uh... I don't know. I thought someone gave me a salami surprise. I'll eat salami sandwiches for breakfast, lunch, and dinner from now on. Hmm. I'm guessing you're ready to present legal evidence of Frederson's misconducts. It wasn't Frederson. Everything is pointing towards him. I will present the true culprit soon enough. Well, I don't really care how long it takes you. This will be Frederson's last day. Do you know anything about this letter? Well, it's obviously a cheap prank by Frederson. Only he would find this funny. Hmm. Oh, oh, there you are. <sighs> Maybe it was too romantic. Did Sophie ask about me? She didn't. Ah, I see. Maybe I should have gotten her something more expensive. So, did you get her the necklace then? everybody let's see we do have all the words for the presents now so maybe it was boris who gave the necklace
was it Laura who gave the plushie? Who gave the book? Was it Margaret? I guess it wasn't Margaret. I just thought because um, Margaret did say, or like her, the uh, the password clue was me in sexy aliens. Um. stolen after all. It seemed that the salami present was intentional. The message. Well, I mean, Sophie received a uh, necklace that contained um ah uh, contained a letter but um we don't have the adjective or the letter yet i wouldn't say it was romantic silly or nice What about the business? Books, necklaces, bosses, plushies, cakes, salamis are being legally I guess we don't really know all the words for that yet. So, can we now look at the computer again? Me in Sexy Aliens. What? Huh? How do oh, oh. Okay, so it's Purple Eyed Alien. I cracked it. Let's see what secret she has on her computer. Okay. Cutie. Delete data. Illegal activity. Accomplice. Hearts. Lovers. West VPN. Secret cake recipes. Never gonna give you up. Okay. Vacation. Plan trip. Bearbus internal vouchers for C S for customer service agents. Okay, 
three hour delay compensation booked on next bus. Who is this person she's messaging? We can't question him about anything new. I hadn't looked at this yet. So there was something new. Customs import. Customs procedures for passengers entering from the west border. Allowed goods. Personal items worth less than 500 schmark. Notify the local police about suspicious activity. Prohibited goods. Weapons. Gun. Scary. More than 10 trombones. Meat. Plants. Books not in the interests of the eastern states. And potatoes. Luggage will be checked at the bus station. For more information, visit Pretzel. What do they have against potatoes? <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see. Salamis are being illegally imported. From Bretzel. Oh, from Salsiccia. That explains all the high grade salami. I just needed to find out who was behind this. Sophie received a romantic necklace that contained a scary letter. Oh. A silly plushy book Oh a silly letter that contained a scary message. Sophie was receiving threats. I needed to find out why. The mystery of the Salami Bandit was slowly getting unraveled. In Western goods are prohibited from entering and being sold in the East. This is why the Salami Bandit decided to make a business out of buying high-grade salami in the West. Smuggling it to the east and selling it at a high profit. Also, for some reason, Sophie received a letter from the Salami Bandit that had a hidden, threatening message. This was serious. I had to question all of the employees. Thanks for coming, everyone. Well, everyone except for... Sophie. Where is she? Slacking off. Playing on her computer phone, like usual. She's having problems with her family. She was at her desk and said she needed a moment. <clears throat> I will start then regardless. 
I have made my deductions and drawn some serious conclusions. Oh, deductions without a K. I'm disappointed. Oh, finally! Is Freddy getting fired then? Who is the murderer? I... what? The, no one died. I'm getting framed, I'm telling you! What a load of baloney. He is right, actually. He is getting framed. What? Why would anyone bother? Ah, that is the question, isn't it? Why would anyone bother? Get to the point. It's through my observations that I uncovered a conspiracy. <gasps> this is ridiculous. Why are we still listening to a random duck that waddled into this office? I'm leaving. I'm a certified private investigator and... It's okay. Just tell us what you know. <sighs> Salami is being smuggled from Salsitia using your very own buses. Huh? What's going on? Okay, this is going too far. I really have more important things to do. Now that is really scandalous! Does that mean we're losing our jobs? Uh... Maybe. <laughs> Listen, everybody! It's really important that no one leaves the premises. I need to get back to work. Oh, everybody's leaving? Oh. I'm still here, Mr. Duck Detective. Okay, well, since you are here... This is getting intense, isn't it? Maybe you could need a little help? You seem lonely. I could be your assistant. What do you want me to do? D uh, decipher messages? Talk someone into telling us the truth? Follow people around? I'm pretty good at that. Just stay here. <laughs> like this? Yep, you're doing great. Oh, no questions at this point then? Oh, who would hire me at this age? Oh, maybe I can be a, a real estate agent. I always wanted to be a rich real estate agent. Well... No time like the present to make your dreams come true. Why would Laura recruit you to deal with a theft? Aren't there any other detectives who are actually qualified for the job? I've been doing very well so far, if I do say so myself. The truth will be revealed in the end. Huh? Yeah, and if the truth hasn't been revealed yet, then it isn't the end yet. Alright, uh, so... Mr. Ernst is not here at the moment to tell us to not touch this. Finally, Manfred is out of his office. Time to see what's behind his precious family portrait. Oh dear. I mean, CS customer service, we have two people here. Zero, zero. And birthday, wasn't it the seventh today? Oh. Really?
Okay. I did it! Oh, I always wanted to open a ridiculously big safe. Let's see what secrets he has in here. Oh, keys. Keychain, server room key. Ooh. Dear Ingrid, I know two letters, different handwriting. I know I haven't been there for you and the kids recently, but things are looking up. I would love to take you to a romantic getaway to Holland Days. Love, Manfred. Keep quiet, fear of snitching. Demands employee of the month. TV in my room. Keep quiet about the thing. Oh, so Rufus was actually uh, blackmailing. Do all these things and nothing will happen to you. So, did Rufus, is Manfred the guilty party with the smuggling and Rufus found out and started blackmailing him? Awful lot of security for a branch manager of a bus company. Wait. This keychain, here it is, the key for the server room. Okay, got the server room key. Did I close that? Apparently I can't. So, Laura's missing. Anything going on in here? It's not really a detective's job to spin crazy conspiracy theories, is it? Sometimes the truth is pretty crazy. Seems a bit cheap. Okay, no questions at this point. Where's our friend Boris? Aha. Uh -huh. She left? Just like this? <gasps> Maybe she's at home. Should I look for her? She left a note on the desk. A note on the desk. That's it. I quit. Quit job. Sudden news. You'll never see me again. Never. Dramatic. Sophie. Letter author. Yeah. What a dramatic turn. I should keep this as evidence. Oh. Aha, uh -huh, thought so. This is the note Sophie left. Can you tell me more about it? It doesn't make sense at all that she just suddenly leave. She definitely needs the money. And she would have told me! I'm her friend! Do 
Did you read Sophie's letter? I did. Something's off. Something's different. Hmm. Let's see if we can ask others about the letter as well. What do you think of this note? It's no surprise she's left, is it? Would you want to work with someone you've dated in the past? Have you seen Sophie's resignation? Uh, no. I can't say it comes at a surprise. She never particularly enjoyed her job. It's difficult finding replacements nowadays, though. Okay. And, uh, we... Can we ask him about it as well? No. What about Freddy? What do you think of Sophie's resignation? Oh? I guess Boris was overdoing it a bit with that present. I did tell him to cool off a bit. Why are people not listening to me? Hmm. Okay, I think it's time to check out the server room. See what we can find in there. Oh, hello there. Let's see. The last dialed number on this phone is 03051777. Was that the police number? I'm gonna go check. Yes, it was. Notify the local police about suspicious activity. So whose phone was it? Was it Sophie's? Did Sophie get kidnapped? I think Sophie's been kidnapped. She tried to call the police. And now she's missing. anymore. I'll tell them everything. Don't. Fight. Block this number. Expecting my co-workers to remember my birthday. It's my 20 female birthday today and no one congratulated me. I don't need much. Birthday card, high expectations. But at least the handwritten card would have been nice. What else? Blocked, no communication. I can't believe she complained about this online. I mean, clearly it was important to her. So, why not? Also, I guess we are kind of sort of at the 30 minute mark. And I think going into the server room is going to once again bring up a lot of new stuff. So, um... 
Yeah, I think. I think I'm going to leave the going into the server room into the next episode. And uh, end this one here. So, thank you so much for watching and uh, spending a little of your time with me here today. It was lovely to have you. Please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I will see you again next time.